Mic check a one, two, one, two. Yes, sir. You already know what it is, what it was, what it's going to be like. It's your big dog, DJ Big How. Check it in this thing, broadcasting live from the playground. You know, hey, with my big dog out there, HB, heartbeats in the building, man. Get what? You ain't got a heartbeat, you did. You dig that, goddamn. It mm-hmm. is what it is, man. Hey, man, shout out to Teezy for coming up with my slogan, too, bro. <laughs> Teezy came up with that slogan like 20 years ago. Yes, it did, goddamn. Maybe not 20, but. Probably about fifteen. Some 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 long period. Now, mm-hmm. a minute, goddamn. Oh yeah, how we normally do? Uh, the fabulous Lou Vegas is in the building. Yes, on the sir. Carry all the oh, high go. Goddamn it. Episode new one. Goddamn number nine. Get it done. How goddamn. you keep up with it, man? Shit. Golly, we getting up there now, man. This is how we rolling. Goddamn shit. I would. Uh, I probably nine got piece. that one wrong. Why? Cause man, it's just you know. Boy, look here. I probably would get that one. Bro, <laughs> I saved something for you. What? On my phone. Okay. Kanye West did something that you do all the time. I'm going to show it to you when you get off here. Wait, wait say that again? I'm going to show you. I said Kanye West do something that you do all the time. I'm going to show it to you oh. when we get off of here. Oh, okay. So just just know you and uh, you, you, I guess you and the goats are all on the same wave. Man. I heard that much, God damn it. I don't know about the full wave, God damn it, but we might take a little piece of it. I said, damn, my <laughs> nigga Dub just did the same thing. I'm going I'm to have to show it to you. But yeah, man. Indeed. What God you got damn. going on today? Man, been a, been a long one, God damn here. I've been, I've been on the Tied in, goddamn. I've been dealing with my kids' shit, goddamn. So on, on some real life shit. So y'all, for all my fathers out there who've been going through your shit, goddamn, hold it in the road, cause boy, I feel you. And goddamn, you know what I'm going through. So hey, hey man. man, and he got it, two daughters. Hey man, but it is with no it is. sons. <laughs> two daughters. They don't want no more babies. Goddamn. <laughs> I got one daughter. He got two. Hell shit. Well, salute to everybody who out there with with, with with three plus or a basketball team, boy. Cause look here, I, I ain't got the heart for it. I swear. <laughs> well, yeah, just handling that shit right there, man, and getting ready for uh, another endeavor. Uh, we are getting ready for uh, Thanksgiving. We gonna we gonna give a little a little bit more thanks out here, a little bit more. You know, talk about end of year with some new shit. So uh, just know uh, a byproduct of the, of the uh, music playground podcast. Some always up our sleeve is about to uh, show his head and get him turned up. We got two did. sleeves. In this. <laughs> <laughs> Four all together, six. You feel me? Yes, a lot of sleeves, so a lot of new stuff coming out. That's what it is, man. But yeah, getting getting ready for that, man. Uh, scouting out uh new folks. You feel me? Some new talent and stuff like that. Like we got a couple of a couple of things in the pipeline. You feel me? So mm-hmm. yeah, just been work. Just been working on that stuff and trying to get my head together. What been going on, on your side, man? Same thing, bro. Come off a crazy weekend. Uh. <sighs> Working over there at my wife's store is about done. Um, it's supposed to open up for uh, Black Friday. Yes, indeed, yeah. boy. All kind of shit going on before the end of this month. Over, yeah. goddamn. Her first storefront. Uh, I'm proud of her. You Brick know? and mortar. We here. Yeah. So we are gonna do some groundbreaking. Mm-hmm. Um. Other than that. I mean that Travis Travis Scott show kind of. God damn it, we are officially yeah. in the jungle gym. God damn it, bringing this shit up right now. That Travis Scott show it kind of had me on uh, on R all weekend. Like, what's going on over here? But yeah, let let me ask because again, this is the 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 main thing that's going on right now. So, what is your take on this? Or how much research have you have you looked at and at kind of alternating things? Like, well, yeah, what's your take? What's your take? I mean, I I feel like I don't feel like it's his fault, but being that he is part owner of the event, he has to take some of the blame. Of course, he he has to, uh, and and I think uh, it should be set up to where you know I don't know how to do it, but you know to where that can't happen. It's just a lot of people that man. Uh, it, unfortunate event too. I don't even see how it could have been prevented. To be honest with you. Here's my play about this, right? There's an aerial shot because everybody, you know, headlines are just that. They're headlines. They're goddamn attention grabbers. Goddamn mm-hmm. clickbait. However you yeah. want to play it. There's an aerial shot of where he's at, and then where the crowd of fifty thousand is in front of him on the sides of him. Fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. So, so hold on. Goodness so we gracious. had eight people. Not, not, not tragedy. Yes, tragedy. Yes. There's a, there are more people hurt. I think there may be a total of somewhere around like a like hundred f- kids hurt yeah. or something like that. Yeah. But you know, to my only eight, eight died. R.I.P. to the folks. If you have that many people, 
in in attendance. And I'm I'm just going strictly off of this this aerial shot from where he where the stage was set up at, where everybody mm-hmm. was at, and everything. Somebody wherever that that wave came from. You couldn't tell. I and, and I performed on some stages with some with some folks in there. Uh, my, my, so they got an aerial shot of the wave. No, no, no. I'm just no. I'm just saying. Oh, of that. Oh. I'm just saying. If you on the stage from where he was and you looking at it, you looking at the wave of people. That's what I mean by that. Mm-hmm. So you are looking at these people. You really can't tell who's falling out, who's really rushing, because everybody with mm-hmm. their hands. Up, you, you know what I'm talking. About? If you've ever been yeah. on a stage, I, I'll even give you a, a thousand, a thousand people. If you've been in front of a thousand people real quick, that's right in front. Of you in uh-huh. a in a in an in a area, it's hard to pick out what's going on. And once mm-hmm. they start fighting or something like that, it's kind of you know hard to see the ones. That you feel me? Way back, yeah. unless that's right here. Now they keep saying, "Well, he saw the ambulance in the in in the uh, the crowd and everything." Okay, if he saw the ambulance in there, that means medical was called to go to a certain spot to respond right. to something. Right. So that normally you would think, okay, they going to take care of something. Mm-hmm. Now they're also the. Uh, the footage of the uh, lady and the guy talking about they ran up on the the cameraman and was like, uh, "Stop it! There's people dead back there. There's people dead back there." Okay, how do we know was like in the middle of them shooting the show? You come up here distraught. There's people dead back here. That's a serious. Like, how right. do I stop all of this? And I'm just a cameraman. Right. But but okay, somebody recorded. It, it, it's so much going on. So again, you look at all of these major festivals, Rolling Loud, goddamn, uh, 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 shit, I can't think of uh, the big motherfucker, uh, Coachella and shit like that. Mm-hmm. These are all massive crowds, 50 to 100,000 people mm-hmm. type shit. You know what I'm talking about? So, also going back, wherever, whenever, wherever this actually started, I don't know. But there's also footage of them jumping a fence, breaking a fence down, p- people getting trampled right yeah. then and there. So yeah, I did see that. So I there's that. video of them breaking it down. So you have a, you have a concoction. Okay, now you can say, okay, now that might be on the the organizers. Of course, try if to do that. he was aware of it. I, I, you but know, again, he's not. He's an organizer. I, I None of the actual really. art organizer on that level. If you're that, if you're the artist and the organizer, you're not really hands on with all of this shit left and right. You you have staff and got them. Mm-hmm. They're handling all this shit. You just getting paid. You feel me? At the I don't think he really just knew what was going on. No. Like, it could have been people passed out or anything. You can't stop a whole show for somebody who fainted. You, know you feel saying? me? Like, and we're talking about, hey, what's the, air, what's the area? Now they say that the FBI get into it and all this stuff. If right he here. knew, and if he knew, he should have shut that whole show down. But again, and, and, how but, can you know? And that's what I'm saying. I don't like, know if he knew or not. No, because you know again, saying? from where his where his stuff where his stuff was, there was somebody. There's another. Again, the footage keeps coming out. So all, all this, I, I never kind of jump on a wagon, quote unquote. Mm-hmm. To, I, I want to research and, and let everything because I know there's gonna be multiple angles and multiple of everything to pop out. Mm-hmm. You feel me? There's uh, another footage of somebody that was closer to him. Um, that he saw uh, some type of distress or whatever, and he was like, "Y'all chill out, y'all chill out. Get get somebody over yeah, here." I remember that. You know what I'm talking about? So it somebody ain't like he's not out. aware of at least his initial surroundings. So wherever this this wave of of people that came in, it had to be more towards the back. Where those cameras at? Okay, we know we know it. Those ca- those are uh, high end goddamn cameras. Mm-hmm. Those are fifty thousand dollar goddamn mm-hmm. um TV TV production. Cameras, you know what I'm talking about. These folks sitting, these folks sitting up there, they don't, they way, way, way back somewhere. So hmm. that could have been way back somewhere else, you know what I'm talking about. So all, all the saying, all of this, there, there was miscues. Let me say it from what I'm gathering, just from looking at the social side of it, there was miscues from security about about stuff. Now, if that was in a, if that was intertwined from them mm-hmm. breaking that, breaking it and rushing that to to go along with the actual people rushing the stage. Right. Cause let me t- let me say this, ain't th- the way what the way it's set up again from the area view. There's no rushing the stage. Now you can run to gotta kind of get up to to your gate or whatever. But again, it had to be way back because that front section yeah, you you was either coming in from the side looks like oh because there's a walkway straight through where people hmm. can get through. Hmm. You feel I me? Or, or, or other people can get through to it. So you know it's it's just. It's unfortunate. It's an unfortunate thing. Shit like this happens, and this is a, it, it's going to have a, a, a minor shock wave to hit a, a lot of the. Has uh, it happened before? A, a trampling, not that I know of. Michael Jackson. 
Now, now let me now, now let's preface this. Michael Jackson is the only performer that I know of historically, goddamn, who has had he'll have twenty people pass out and and they just he's just standing on stage. <laughs> I'm looking around, I'm breathing the air. Mike breathing the air, goddamn. That nigga took about he exhaled and about five bitches passed out. You know what I'm talking about? Like That's crazy. Like real life, you feel me? But this was Mike, so it was a different spell. So yeah, they they actually had multiple uh, ambulances and and uh, health healthcare people to help on them. Big mm-hmm. Mike, you gotta think now. Mike doing shows in front of 50, 50 or hundred, you know what I'm talking about? All better yeah. type shit. You feel me? And he got people pa- and they they know people gonna be passed out. All these females finna be passed out. They had dudes passing out. Like come on, man. So, so how they, how they prevent this from happening? I, I, that, is it preventable? The only way shit like this is preventable, and again, I'm 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 gauging my view uh, vantage point from watching them break that break that uh that barrier to whatever time it was a wave of people getting trampled over. Hmm. So there might be a lapse in security. You know what I'm talking about? They're like it looked like that area wasn't staffed. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? And nine times out of ten, when the motherfucker break through, break through something, it's not it's not staffed right, correctly. They said you know what I'm talking about? Pricked in the neck. You seen that? And and I and I saw that. Now that with what though? They said some type of needle. Uh, 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 I'm saying, but what was in the needle? Whatever. And, and again, all of this is kind of kind of weird. Cause think about it. Super weird. To to actually get up on somebody fast enough with all that commotion to go in and jab them with a needle. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, I'm not saying it, and then it, it, undetectable. But you feel me? Like somebody didn't point you out there while, while you were doing it. Like that's hey man, what did you do? <laughs> you feel me? Like, like who who runs around with a needle? Like all of that shit just out of place. But again, this is Astro World. If y'all have never crazy, been crazy, been there or crazy. paid attention to any of these things, and Travis, you know what? Travis has been doing this for years. Though. That's Let's just get gonna make way. that's just gonna make more people want to come to the next one. Hey, to a degree, you know what I'm talking about. Even it, the fact that people died. Now, now, that. now here's the throw off about this. Now they turn the, the, the quote unquote cancel, cancel culture. culture wants to come in and cancel him. Guess what? Okay, so now you have him. They now we know that Drake was a part of that and Live Nation. Okay, so all these are your investors into it. So mm-hmm. that's that's your that's your promoters and everybody else falls under under them. Per, Did other people per perform there? Yeah, yeah, oh, okay, yeah. Um. But again, so there's already a million dollar lawsuit right now. They're not gonna fight. Let, let, for what happened, they they're gonna check on everything. They're not gonna fight a lot of these that uh these injuries. The, the, hmm. You know, say these claims from real folks who was pulled from there. Cause I mean, records are records. You mm-hmm. know, what I'm talking about. Um, I saw Roddy Rich. He's he's donating his money. Where you think some people performing? He's donating what he made back to the people, to the families and shit like that. Tra- oh, he was there. Yeah, uh, Travis. He he uh he's issuing full refunds to everybody that was there. Hmm. Um. Dang. Yeah, uh, and he's canceling because he's had his tour and he's canceling his tour out, uh, some more uh, festivals and shit like that. So they're they're going to they're not going to oppose anything. So if anybody wants to make shit messy, they're going to try to ask for some mm-hmm. astronaut. And again, I, I, is there a price on on somebody's life? You know what I'm talking about? Like you can't tell me, goddamn, twenty million ain't gonna make me feel better. You know what I'm talking about, but at the same time, okay, don't be ridiculous. But they're gonna settle out with all of these people. You know what I'm talking about, you and, and so? keep this shit. All of them, yeah. They, they, they kind of got to though. They, they have to. I mean, again, you have Live Nation, so let's put this out the way. You got Live Nation. Live Nation is the largest booking agents touring agency in the U.S. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about. If if not the it. if not the world, uh, I think Mac is up there, but they are. Uh, I think Live Nation might be the top, top, top. Um, but they're de- they're dealing uh international uh concerts and all this type of shit. Mm-hmm. They they got a they got a reputation to hold up. So if we start if this happens and we're a part of this and then all of these lawsuits come in here and we don't settle in some at least some decent form. Now I don't know, I, I might want to check that out. I know Live Nation is worth a, a couple hundred M's. You know what I'm hmm. talking about? Be, maybe maybe probably in the B's. The, probably in the B's. You, you feel me? Because, again, they're dealing they with putting, every genre. They be putting M's in one show. You feel me? So it's every genre. So I know <clears> they got bread <throat> like that. You know what I'm talking about? They settle out, keep the company M's together. It's going to be some damage control on the Drake, and a, a, especially on Travis's side. You know, you got, these people got good PR teams and, and damage control 
people to come mm-hmm. in and okay strategize what we got going on. Offset of that, bring it into the musical fold. There are teams that are literally there for when shit goes crazy like this in in an artist's life. Clean it up. They go and say, okay, when well, you don't need to be on social media for this, you don't need to be doing this. Don't say this shit. This is what we're about to do. Clean and, up, clean. And, and it's a whole goddamn litany of shit. To make sure, okay, this goes on. We protect the brand. The brand it, it, it continues on. Back to something we did last week. We it's been a continuing thing on here. Having a team together, teamwork mm-hmm. make the dream work. You understand me? Believe that. Mm-hmm. You feel me? But yeah, it's 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 a it's a sad. That was crazy, man. Sad situation, man. But you I know, couldn't believe it when I seen. It, I said, I got, the first I seen the one where he was, uh, I guess. You know, acknowledging the one who passed out. Mm-hmm. That's the first clip I seen. But then at the end of it, it says that it happened after the trampling. So I went to scrolling down on World, on World Star. I seen it. And I, I said, "Damn." Yeah, hey, man. It, I mean, it is what it is, man. That, that you just I said, "Damn." I ain't never seen nothing like that. Ca- casual, casualties of of, of a I fake war. Like that, happen, feel me? No. But like, like think about it, to the people who they woke up, bought they. They already had their front row tickets, bought their outfit, and went to their favorite artist and got crushed. Hey man, that's a hell of a offset of that. While we talk, while we talk man, about this, because so we're not going to, we're not going to bypass this because this is this Lord. this stretches into a bigger thing of festivals and large gatherings and stuff. Do you remember the uh, the Vegas shooting? No. Vegas, they had a shooting outside, and I don't want to call uh, the the casino because I don't remember it offhand. But it was a shooter outside the roof, and he was picking people off at at, uh, at one of the con- it was a country concert, country concert, and he didn't kill. I forget it was it was a bunch of people. It was a bunch of people, and when they find, I do remember that. And, and when wait, they wait, wait. and when they caught him, they got went in the room. That he had ammunition, guns, the whole full they setup, the and shot all, shit. All, the, all them people. Like it was a huge concert, maybe the year or a year before last or something like that. Nah, this was this was a couple of years back. You know, maybe yeah, this when five, they were shooting at that. Um, five, yeah. But um, uh, but uh, but it's been I an ongoing thing. But no, that is that was another one. Again, shit like this happens where they have those mad. They have mass shootings at some goddamn. Uh, festival and shit, and this has been an ongoing trend of just in general violence of these crowds when these crowds get into in, in, into place, some violence or something tragic happens. In Folks these be out their body, you know, to my drug you can imagine. And, and let's just call it bringing it into the fold right now. Everybody has been inside, inside. Everybody's now just getting getting to the point where they back outside. Folks are just. It, is too much energy that, that they didn't built up, too much of a different thought process be, from behind being stuck inside all the time. Niggas is outside and don't give a fuck how they talking to people, how they acting, whatever. It just, nigga, I'm, I'm back out here. Nigga, mm-hmm. it, it, it is what it is. And a lot of people have that attitude. Grown, young, it don't matter. It's, mm-hmm. it's just a thing that's going on right now. Right. So, <clears throat> it like, how do, how do you, how do you curtail b- behavior in those settings? You know what I'm talking about? And, and it, folks just act right, man. But that's a stretch. I mean, e- even that's she, a stretch. And and to pivot a little bit, you know what I'm talking about? Like like we're still in a pandemic. You know what I'm talking about? It's still going on. You know what I'm talking about? There's still COVID deaths and all this shit going on. New York, prime prime place. You can't go party in certain spots now without having a vaccine uh vaccine card saying, "Goddamn, I'm straight." And this is hmm. state mandate now. This is only one of a few states that actually had, or city, excuse me, not state. This is uh, city mandates. Um, one of few that actually have this going on for workers and all this stuff like that, and going into these public gatherings and shit like that. Like there's, there's, hmm. like it or not, there's checks and balances. I think Louisiana, is, like New Orleans is too. I think. I, yes, I don't know. Maybe but, not. I don't know. It seemed like somebody was telling me somewhere, somewhere around here would uh, did the same thing to them. But again. Go, going into all this shit, you you, it's just different shit you gotta adjust to. Every you know, it's just different shit you gotta adjust to, and and this aspect of it is just something they're gonna have to adjust. You know, what I'm talking about in these large festivals, and again, something of this magnitude have we haven't seen nothing like this. You know, what I'm talking about we of all these festivals that's been going on since everything's been popping up, we haven't heard of nobody going getting, crazy getting and trampled. falling and getting trampled. You know, you know, what I'm talking about like this. This is the first. This is the first. You know, what I'm talking about. Like, but again, 
thing will go on. They 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 are going to make mental notes. It's going to affect how how they create shows and these outdoor festivals and all this shit. Mm-hmm. But again, it's it's in moderation because you. You have something like this happen every couple of years or something like that. You know what I'm talking about? This is not just a, hey, the festival over there got down. Oh, the, the power jam over there got fucked up. Oh, some of the people got fucked up over there at, at, at that jam. You know what I'm saying? So, Can he come back from this? Yeah. Like, the, 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 would, I, it, would this hurt him in any way? No. I, no. I, again, his PR team would be there. And just in a general, it's not him, <clears throat> him. You know what I'm talking about? It, it's it's not on him when everybody gets to the point of okay. This, I I give it this because again, it's, it's you got eight eight families who've lost people. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, one of them was a couple. You feel me? So it's oh, like yeah, a couple died. Yeah, a couple died. Oh, so I guess you, you know how that go. Goddamn, he trying to hold up his, hold up his woman or whatever. But man, yeah, man. I like that, that. All of that to get resolved and shit like that. You know what I'm talking about? There'll be a good little bit of talk for the next maybe two two months, and then the, how the media cycle runs. Whenever mm-hmm. something it's gonna fade out to a degree. Whenever something else come in, you know what I'm talking about? It'll fade out. You feel me? But again, this this is an impact on actual lives, so it's going to it's going to how carry. How you think he's gonna day. gonna deal with that psychologically? Ah, uh, I. I I, can't, I mean, I I mean uh, imagine yourself on stage and people coming to try to see you and got killed. Here's my, races. here's like, my. I, th- I, does that mess with you psychologically? I would have to know what his psyche is, cause me as, as as a business person and just looking at how this is going on, I wouldn't feel bad. I wouldn't quote unquote change nothing outside of okay, ch- find out where where was the weak point at or where did this find because we still don't know from the public standpoint where this started at where did this this trampling begin at? and if it was at that gate what we saw that that beginning at you know what i'm talking about okay now we can track that and say okay hmm. this 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 needs to be fixed but i wouldn't have i'd go to sleep like damn that's fucked up damn that's fucked up hmm. and then I'm, I'm gonna have to get up and be like okay you gotta help these folks out and shit and there will be a consorted effort to to address those things and, and help speed those things along and then i'm back i'm getting back to my place i'm i'm back to the music you know what i'm talking about i'm back with my kids you feel me I'm, then it was iron, you know, it was ironic about how the stage was set up with the inverted cross going into hell and the demons walking on top Hey man, there, there. He had it on the shirt with the demons on it. But again, these are these are his. Then you had his eight things. people die at your show. These are his things. The, now the dead part that whatever, but all the design I'm aspects saying, and all this crazy. shit. This is his brand. This has been his brand. So there's again, there's nothing new. This is his artistry. There, there are more acts that are that are on the same type of shit. You feel me? So, you know. There's space for it. There's space for it. So, so let me ask you this: It's it's okay to uh, feed the the that part of it into the kids' head. I get I get what you're saying, and here here, here go here go me now. I'm saying I'm, I'm go I, ahead and finish it out because I, I don't want to stop when saying, I start talking. I don't want to stop. I'm just saying so. like does that does that make it norm or okay to I mean to to somebody who's watching it seeing the you know the demons and all that stuff like just because that's you know I'm just I'm just trying to get your chime in on it. That's all. Okay, I was just I was just waiting. That's that's that was your that's the full you know, question. Because yeah, that's, you you know what I'm trying to say. I got you. Now here here I go now. Um. I don't care about none of that because of our society in general. So yeah, we're gonna say we're, we're gonna blame music. I'm I'm tired of that. So what's aspect. the difference between hold on, that hold on, hold on, and Lil Nas? That's on. what I'm saying. Hold on, that, that's why I'm, I'm go through all this shit. I'm go through all this. So we're at a space now where we're hypersensitive about everything. There's inclusion now. There's a movement for full inclusion of any and everything that we're doing, we're about, we're playing with. Regardless, there's inclusion and let them people have their space and all that shit. The mo- the quote unquote old moral code out. We'll, we'll we'll call it that. The moral standard, the old moral standards of life and living have been tweaked, turned, and twisted to the third power so mm-hmm. now let's let's take it we say music is so is so demonic and and, and it's putting this this aspect and stuff all right we we have a film category called horror that is specifically 
made to ha- to instill fear in the viewer. We are going to explore the most demonic pla- the demonic places of thought process and goddamn realization and voodoo, whatever you want to call it, anything occult. We want to take that in and enjoy- and in- get enjoyment out of being scared from it so we're going to embody our, our eyes and shit like that. i think the depiction hold, hold on, is a little on. different on. no 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 it's no different because it's Be- between a movie and a, a, a artist no because like, they believe guess it's what? more from music because guess what I'm, I'm going to look at i'm going to look at this in the showcase because you got to think if he's if this is not all t- all the time in my videos this is not a full focus on, on this but this is for my layout and in my layout of of whatever this production set is right. it's a production set no different from that movie that went and made a whole hell goddamn pits of demons with people getting raped kills slaughtered head back so do you all think type people, of extra shit do you think that people think Drake act like he acted on Degrassi or do you think that Kids think that Drake acts how he acts in the rap songs that he does. One of them was TV, the other one is music. And that was how many years ago? So, I'm just saying. So what? No. So period, what, could even, we, even could the we kids then. Kids? Again, even the, even the kids then or, or anything and not not just kids. But he's a play, he's a playboy. He's a play. His image is playboy. And he fucks I, with girls I think it all makes, the time. I think it so, makes it more believable, like real life, if it's in music. If it's on a movie, like people kind of think, well, that's just movie stuff. That's just movie stuff. Monsters ain't real. And again, if you're in music, you know you're you're rapping in. But I don't think they've style. gathered that yet. I don't Man, think. What? I don't think they've gathered the no. fact that this is still just acting. No, no, they've over they've over got it. Cause let, let's bring it. Let's bring it back. I'm gonna bring you back to, to, to some OG shit. Brother Lynch hung. Have you ever heard of him? Mm-hmm. West Coast shout out to uh Lynch. Lynch is an OG. To say us, uh, he was one of the first gore rappers. Hardcore gore rappers. So, um, uh, what is EBK every day, all day to the day I die? I'm creeping through your set with a Minimac 10 a Oh, my fire rule. I'm trying to remember some of these, uh, nigga nuts and Gustin. He would rap about slicing you up, basically doing you some Jeffrey Dahmer shit, hmm. chopping your stomach out, goddamn. Eating your flesh, uh, sending your soul to the to the demons and shit mm-hmm. like that. Uh, inviting it. Uh, uh, he was on that type of shit. You mm-hmm. know what I'm talking about? He's still on that. His now his even his visuals, his music. We got we got watch, we got watch some of this shit. His visual. He fuck with all uh, strange music with Tech Nine in them now. But his visuals are extra gore. He's in there with with hooks and stuff like on like on saw like people. He he depicts a horror movie in every one of his videos, but that's and that's not, his that's artistry. That's kind of not what I'm talking about. But 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 it's still relative to the fact of that the 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 demonic angle of it was that Bone Bone Thugs they first album they got crucified because everybody was on him about the Ouija boy because they they spoke about that oh, yeah, in multiple in multiple records and shit like that. Mm-hmm. But they're not de- and and you talk to them now or or you go back and look at it uh, from what they was doing. They talked about the spiritual angle of shit. You know. I'm talking about, and they would they always been on a higher spiritual stuff. It just happened to be this Ouija was what what everybody fixed it, and all oh, y'all devil worshippers and shit like mm-hmm. that. That's why I say this moral shit. So bring Nas into the fa- into, into the fold. The moral standpoint of it, people still want to have a moral standpoint, but when it comes to on, on religion, they still want to have that, but they don't abide by that. For the simple fact of, we have a hit show called Lucifer on Netflix. What is <laughs> Lucifer? The devil. You are literally watching the show about the devil. Hey, but but nobody had, everybody's like, this show is so great, this, that, and the third, whoop, the whoop. So, so do you think they not, watch one called Jesus? Hold on. Would it be the number one? No, it wouldn't be the number one because people, because people will look at it and be like, "Oh, it's gonna be so flirtatious. It's gonna be nice and all this stuff. It's gonna have an audience. It's definitely gonna have an audience." But that demonic stuff like that, people like drama. They and that and that 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 nastiness. I mean, it is. It's 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 a it's a part of our goddamn DNA. It's crazy because my wife watched Squid Games, right? Mm-hmm. And then she watched another movie with me, and this this movie was on some street shit, right? Mm-hmm. Guns shooting people, right? Mm-hmm. Squid Game, you died in the most nasty, goriest, scariest ways possible. Mm-hmm. And she she still watch that, but she don't want to watch the one, the movie that somebody getting shot. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? She don't. She'll watch the Squid Game death. So yeah, no, and they're more gory. Again, artistry <laughs> is just is just that. That's what that's where I'm at with it. Not a moral code. That 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 
implies back to a goddamn religious space. Are you more pro Jesus and anti devil, or are you even based? I, now I was raised, I was raised Christian, so I'm, I'm just going to that phase. I was raised Christian. Um, you I know, to my she, my grandma. Hold on, hold on. My grandma uh, played piano in the church. Same. I was ready. I sang. I sang. I did the whole the whole nine. You know what I'm talking about. But at this age, I can sit back and see. Okay, well, a lot of y'all are doing this for shock value, and like Nas X. That's what I was trying to get to. So Nas X puts out a shoe, and he has, says it's, it's devil blood and all this, and, and it's customized and all this shit. People are throwing a, a fit about the shit. But the company who did the exact same shoe as the Jesus shoe. Didn't get that much burn And they still sold units and shit like that It's a ploy on marketing Now now, now here's the, now here's the flip side of this When Lil Nas X Regardless of whatever controversy He got going on If he would have put that shoe out he would if, if Just say that timing Would have been right around Thanksgiving I mean uh, right around Halloween Like say the week of Halloween except Instead of being in fucking Valentine's Day type shit mm -hmm. If he would have released that devil's shoe that video and all that shit Would people have a, a problem with it Being close to Halloween Or was it just because It was just out and about And it, and it was sp uh, specifically done on that hmm. You see what you see what I'm saying Where it was placed at The time it was le released That would say something Because I bet you You would not have that much shit Because Tony Hawk came out With a goddamn Uh uh, a, skateboard. a skateboard with his actual a blood. Skateboard. Now here's the flip side about it. He actually showed where he pricked himself, put his shit, put his blood in the motherfucking uh, right. shit, and they whipped this shit up. Mm. This is le legit blood is in this motherfucker, and then what? And ain't nobody said a goddamn thing. They like, oh, it's cool. That's all. Oh, that's so so nice, so nice. So is it the delivery from the person that well, you don't like? He didn't incorporate the devil in it though. But he again, just said, it's I still put my, literally put my blood, sweat, and tears into this. And but again, it's the it. same thing. He's saying. It it, oh, you know it's colored water, colored water in the bottom of the shoes, and they're saying it's blood in the bottom I just of the think shoe. Hip hop influenced pe people differently, not even just kids, people differently than TV. I think they'll they'll do what they see the not just hip hop music artists do before they do what they see an actor does. I don't see motherfuckers around this bitch trying to be Terminator and shit like that. My ass, with these young niggas Robo dying, they know these niggas, well, no, maybe not saying, Robocop, but even, they really trying even, to be Terminator. Even, not, even those superheroes, I don't see that, but the, they trying to be gangsters and, you know, they, they trying to be thugs, they trying to be this. But I mean, you got to think street, cult, street culture is what the fuck our shit is. You know what I'm talking about? It is just what it is. But the the offset of that is folks can come into this motherfucker because it is a business. It is a entertainment field. It is a business field. People can come in here and rap the the gangster because you know what it is. It's shoot them up, bang, bang. You know the lingo that's going on. Anybody, which we know right now, anybody and everybody is doing rap who can rap. Mm -hmm. Everybody's rapping mm -hmm. about shooting and killing and goddamn, you know a good portion of those people are not not really out here shooting and killing. A lot of you folks ain't never pulled no pistol on nobody. Mm -hmm. They ain't robbed nobody. Mm -hmm. They ain't sold no dope, but they can talk every piece about it because they've heard it, heard it over and over and over, and they mm -hmm. know how to do it. And guess what? If you're talented, now here's where a talented thing come into. If you're talented enough to spit that shit like that, okay, we're well, goddamn here. I can automatically get some people around you and goddamn make you turn up, aka make it look six, like aka six nine. Hell, you talking about? I you can be the perfect you can be the perfect vessel for us to make millions. Again, it's it's a it's a image shit. It's think, image. So I think the mu the music really sways this shit way more than the than the movies. That's all I was saying. Yeah, I, I, like I said, I I get it. But people be more persuaded. But by it's listening the, to their favorite like rapper I said, than it's watching the, their It's the rapper. same thing because again, I, it, it, this a two way thing. We'll take we'll take the boost and and, and Nas X dynamic together. Okay, you're saying about the music, but his he's not talking about nothing. He's talking about fun shit and and just craziness up in his in his uh actual music. So you can play his music all day and don't get nothing from the visual. The visual is a totally different thing. He got naked niggas running around and he's in hell and doing all kind of crazy shit. So the visual said, oh man. What the fuck? The mm -hmm. the music said, "Hey, let's go skip." Mm -hmm. 
But that, but to me, that's still that, that's still mute the music to me. That's, that's a, not that's, that's not a that's not a movie art, though. But that's still part of all of the artistry. Because again, with that, you have different different songs, different videos. They gonna, different a lot of times, they gonna so, watch the video before they even hear the song. Sometimes too. Again, right. but again. If you're giving you're giving that visually out, you're giving that out, and it doesn't match up with the song. It's just a visual, you know what I'm talking about. Think about this. Uh, but it, why you don't think it's a reason why they do that? It's it's marketing. It's it's marketing aspect. Man, it ain't all. Could, could let, could let's let's put it let's put it for it's real. For, for real, uh, yes, yeah, definitely that. But let's put it for for our hip hop shit now. You will catch niggas doing the most talking the most gangsters, kill, murder, murder shit, and watch some of the the real videos. Now we're not just talking about the hood niggas who who just shoot the, the, the quick whips. The niggas who really out here doing these things, they video the top notch, goddamn, and don't and don't match what the hell they got going on. Did you know I, that you I can pay you, you can pay more money off YouTube if your video is less violent? Yeah, you get paid more uh, per stream. It's worth more. Think about it. The baby is the prime example of that. Baby songs go extra dumb. The, the one that he really on his gangster shit. And look at this video. You look at the video, and it's all happy go lucky. It's mm-hmm. a lot of energy. It's crazy shit, and none of that shit. It, it's not portraying that, so you mm-hmm. don't visually see that shit. Another uh, thing with the rappers so, that be rapping by killing, just for me recording, I said good ninety percent of them, it's a defensive uh, stance. Basically, they saying if you run up on me with this, or if you do this to me, then I'm gonna do that. And I don't see nothing wrong with that. Like if I'm listening to a song. Or, 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 or and they talking about killing. If if the manner that they're talking about killing is, if you run up on me and try to harm me, I'm gonna do something to you. Uh, to me, I, I think anybody will say that. If somebody run off in your home, and you're able to defend yourself, what are you gonna do? You have oversimplified that. I get. I definitely get. They but do, you but you but have simplified always, that. They too. always say that. Like they always say. If you saw it, test me and my team. You know what I'm saying? They always, they always. But are they really out here stepping out now? Again, no, I ain't saying it. Okay, is, then. I, so that's I'm, the entertainment aspect of I, it. I'm not saying they are, but what I'm saying is, if I'm listening to some music about some gangster stuff, uh, nine times out of ten, they're going they're saying if you run up on me, I'm gonna do this to you. But that's and not I don't see nothing influence, wrong with that. But that's not going to influence. But going back to your original point, that's not going to influence me if they saying you are gonna run up on me. That's not going to influence me to pull up a pistol hear, and shit. I don't hear a lot of people come in the booth and say, "Woke up this morning, walked into a room, shot ten people for nothing." I hear them say, "Woke up in the morning, somebody tried to rob me, had to down them." You see what I'm saying? So, so I, I, I take. Uh, we'll, we'll go to the top. We'll go to the top level. Look at Savage. Savage on nigga four heads. Nigga, I, yeah. We in here and I stepped on a nigga. Yeah, but well, I'm saying for a reason. Savage don't be. It's do you listen to Savage shit? So, so he just. A lot of his so he shit. Just go he, on and say, in his stepping I, songs, I, I when he on it. Hop in the car, put put my gun out the car, and shot a random I'm, person. I'm spinning. I'm spinning. Now, yeah, he's, he's spinning. spinning on niggas. He, the ops, the, the, uh, a threat but, that he feels again, co- is coming he, at him. But again, he's. It ain't nothing wrong with that. If I he feel woke threat, up and spent on a nigga. Like, if that's I feel, the thing. He still woke up. If I feel a threat coming at me, you supposed to do that. And and I feel like you. You could talk about it. But that. again, where's the influence? Well, again, going back to the original point <laughs> that you tried to make, what is the influence difference between me wait, listening in to somebody say, I'm going to wake up in the morning and go to spinning, opposed to me goddamn watching it over and over and over and over and over on, on TV in multiple different ways. You're hearing it on, on records in multiple different ways. You feel me? So where's the influence? I don't know, something, just, something, just something about a rapper and music just so influential, man. Yeah, the actor can't come close to it as far as influencing our uh, culture. No, I mean we 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 set the bar for that. Now, you know, uh, actor can influence some other stuff, you know, as far maybe some fashion, maybe I don't know, but maybe not even that. that like hip hop, music, R and B, all that, man, they got that on lock, man. As far as the influencing and able to sway people. No, I get, I get where you at with it. You know, like, honey, about. I shrunk the kid. Didn't make anybody want to go and got uh, dressed like a nerd. Like no, a but that did make some motherfuckers make, get interested in making some kind of raise or some shit that could possibly do some shit like that. That sparked that. Talking from a, a techie nerd motherfucker, my damn <laughs> self, you feel me? Shit like that, I watch shit like that, and then when I get on my computer, I'm a little extra 
little attentive of shit that I'm doing. Yeah, you know I know what I'm that'll about? never happen, so, so I ain't even going to try to. <laughs> but, I'm, but I'm just saying, in certain things, and you got to think, inspiration is just that. It's inspiration. Wherever it draws from, you draw it from. You know what I'm talking about? Again, shit like that, I will see shit like that. I I would get inspired by, by that. I'll look at uh, how they would build. I, I used to watch videos of how they would build fucking levees and, and shit like that in military uh, vehicles. Just building shit. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, the fucking... Uh, Empire State Building and just shit like that and be inspired. Okay, I, that's I'm so. How many Steve Urkels so came out of Steve Urkel? He ain't inspired nobody want to be like him. Uh, that's a cat, but again, that's a TV character. To, to me, I think that's what they all but, is but TV they, characters. But these people, the people that I know, do music like the ones you know they be they be rapping about things that they really go through. I mean, but yeah, I mean, yeah, of course. But again, we can't we can't bypass the aspect of this is entertainment. At the ass end of you here to it's crazy enter, that you're here to entertain somebody and get paid for it. Off, it's it's crazy that a, a artist is willing to put his story out there for entertainment, and if, if he's being truthful, mm-hmm. now, you know what I'm saying? Like, like that's pretty cool, bro. Like I I tell you about all my problems that I'm going through and all that stuff it's for your entertainment. Yeah, my life, your entertainment, nigga. That's, that's, <laughs> that's one great. Of the, that's I'm, I'm over here going through all the problems, mm-hmm. going through all the breakups, hardships, rhymes, and then you just listening to it for your entertainment. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and again, crazy. that now, well, like you say, certain things, it, music will get somebody through something because you'll listen to certain songs and got them. Yeah, just like and, they, and they talking about the uh, situation mm-hmm. that's damn near runs Similar. parallel to what the hell you got going on. You be like, damn, that nigga went through that shit. Damn, I'm going through this shit here. I feel mm-hmm. that shit. You know what I'm talking that's about? That's why it's best to talk about things you went through mm-hmm. in your music because. If you're going to be that type of rapper. Because, you know because everybody go through the same shit, man. Yeah, hey, man. 99% of the people I ain't saying the same exact problem But Class of problems Amount of problems A lot of people go through the same there, There's one thing I always I always say I'm in all lanes Like the pavement mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about You got to understand That the pavement flows And goes a long way There's mm-hmm. lanes All over the place For all this shit Get it up Get it out And get to it You know what I'm talking about Somebody, Somebody's listening It can affect somebody At some point You know what I'm talking mm-hmm. about So don't Don't ever hold No shit back Goddamn. If, if you're that type of rapper Where you talk about Your your pains Your ups downs And all that type of shit Express that shit Cause that will help Somebody get mm-hmm. through something At some point man it, it's, it's, it's been right. It's happened from Way long time ago And it'll never stop Cause goddamn Somebody got a story Somebody's got a situation And somebody's got Something going on That's just like that person and they can feel that And they yes, might sir. need that At a certain point Because it's hard well, With all this communication Motherfuckers still don't talk about All their issues and mm-hmm. problems And if you can vent out Through that shit And kind of work yourself out Through music Because again Music is therapeutic At the same time It is for me You feel me Like hey Do your thing Goddamn It is what it is Goddamn Real life But man it been a good one, goddamn, man. We finna uh, dive up out of here, jump on this slide real quick, man. Slide. You yeah, dig? Yeah. Anything you want to holler at D4 by real quick before we get up out of here? Hey, man, go check out that Loop Kit. Go check out the EP. <laughs> go check out the beat albums. Go check out my nigga on graphics site, MissVision.com. Go check out everything. Something like that. And, and like we got some shit. new trinkets for y'all at the end of the month. Dig that. That's about it. Already, yeah, hey man, y'all know what it is, man. Y'all fuck with us on that gram at Heartbeats E N T at DJ Big House two two eight at the Music PP. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, rock with us online. Uh, yeah, we every which way. Uh, catch us on your favorite podcast, Spotify, Apple, all that good stuff. No, Apple coming, Apple coming. Uh, uh, iHeart and all that good shit. Um, rock with us, y'all know where we at Heartbeat Studios, man. Rock up with us, y'all need some recording done, some engineering, some beats, all some that merch. stuff, some merch, all that good stuff. Uh, the merch is on the other site, but uh, mm-hmm. on this one, uh, Heartbeats dot studio, that right, Heartbeats dot studio, cause we is two player for a dot com on that there. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, y'all need some merch, go hit up uh his site, who got heart got uh who got, who got heart dot com. You understand me? Yeah, sir. Yeah, and it really going down, man. Appreciate everybody chiming in with us, man. This is the music play. Ground. This is the big homies, and we up out of here already.